Hi, I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com. Today we are at a retaining wall that we designed which is very unique. This retaining wall is certainly high enough to require geogrid. However, the geogrids for this retaining wall do not extend back into the hill. Because of property line constraints, we could only excavate about three feet behind the face of this wall. In addition to the property line constraints, we also had real concerns that the hillside would move down at us if a vertical excavation was made. We have another video that discusses soldier pile walls with tiebacks. What we did here is we constructed a soldier pile wall with no tiebacks. It cantilevered out of the ground. The soldier piles are steel beams that are about three to four feet behind this wall face. That soldier pile wall is actually the wall that's doing the work to hold this hillside up. What we did is we attached wall blocks to the face of that vertical soldier pile wall by taking horizontal pieces of pipe and bolting them to the vertical steel beams. Next, we wrapped a very short piece of geogrid around that horizontal pipe and the piece of geogrid was attached to the blocks that you see here. By constructing the wall in this manner, we were able to minimize the excavation, provide lateral support to the property, not have geogrids extend off our property, and we were able to achieve a much more attractive appearance than just a soldier pile wall with wood or concrete lagging. This project was a unique application and use of segmental retaining wall blocks to make an attractive appearance for an otherwise unattractive retaining wall. If you have unique projects that you'd like us to show, send us your photos. I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com, right here, right now.